lawsuit alleges that he was trapped inside a moving vehicle in Spain while Megan and an unnamed woman got freaky. Twenty-eight and a half gallons of promethazine, lean, scissor, the purple stuff. You mix it in Sprite. You throw a couple of Jolly Ranchers in there. Feel good juice found in a car, arrested, and all of Memphis cries out in its loss of lean tonight. Sixers, here they come, Philadelphia. Sarah Harris called police to complain that her meth was tainted and that she felt like she was going to have a heart attack which some folks would argue is a pretty good indicator that you just took meth. Of the year. One, two, three, four, five, sixers. Chick-fil-A has gone from offering the Lord's chicken to selling the law's meat. One, two, three, four, five, sixers. Thailand played Kuwait and surprisingly, ice hockey. I didn't even know these two countries had ice, but apparently, they do, and skates, and sticks. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Working Perspective Podcast presents WPP News. I'm Matt Lavelle. Accompanied by Liam Reese, Mikey Medigan, and Justin Richardson. On this show, we'll be bringing you the internet's juiciest news stories and reporting on everything from goods falling off the back of a truck to an unsatisfied meth customer and Chick-fil-A's new menu option. Right now, we're going to head to Liam Reese with Entertainment News, who's going to give us the latest on Texas's favorite back porch. Liam! What's the scoop? Megan the Stallion is being accused of harassment by her cameraman, Emilio Garcia. The lawsuit alleges that he was trapped inside a moving vehicle in Spain while Megan and an unnamed woman got freaky. Emilio said that he was warned by Megan that if she was, he was ever to discuss what he just saw, he would be in big trouble. The cameraman claims that after that, the harassment became so severe that it made working conditions intolerable, and he ended up quitting in June of 2023. Megan Thee Stallion and her lawyer deny everything and claim that this is nothing short of a cash grab, which is pretty ironic because there's probably a not-so-short not so list of people that would probably pay to be in that car while that was happening. The incident occurred in June of 2022, and he ended up working with her for a whole nother year after that. So th there's two sides to every story, and the truth is usually somewhere in between. So if this guy actually has any kind of like proof or anything, my guess is she's such a big star, that, and she's so loaded that she would just, you know what I mean, throw money at him, and it'll probably get settled out of court. And this guy would end up getting paid to watch Megan Thee Stallion with, I assume, another hot chick that she was partying with uh, get busy in Spain. So, slow news week uh, for entertainment. <laughs> I'm Liam Reese, WPP Entertainment News. Thanks. Thank you for that, Liam. A related story has come up. Megan Thee Stallion's new cameraman has become the most sought-after job in history. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Let's keep it moving. We're going to head to Mikey Medigan, who's going to talk about traction in the city of brotherly love. Mikey Medigan, what's the story? Sight on scene in the greatest scumbag city in America, Philadelphia, where my cousin's girlfriend's brother's second cousin may have known a guy who allegedly stole 30 large and beautiful snow crabs. Police say the driver was asleep at the joint behind me when his trailer alarm went off. Well, suspects were able to jack 100 boxes of crabs from the trailer when the driver tried to stop them. They true to Scafoso were beaten. Now, this seems to be a problem here in the nation's dirty birthplace. As the thieves jacked 20K of porchetta last week, and in March, crooks jacked bourbon, seafood for 15K, and in January, these boys got 20K worth of prime meats. Now, uh, this has zero to do with this report. I don't care what I just said, but Michael Medigan Meats that can't be beat is now open. And we have quality prices and beautiful, beautiful plates. Come on out. WPP News, back to the studio. 
All right. Thank you for that, Mikey Medigon. In unrelated news, WPP News will be hosting its first ever Surf and Turf Dinner. <laughs> All right. Excellent stuff. Thank you for that, Mikey Medigon. We're going to head to J Dub Justin Richardson, who's going to give us the latest on a little bit of lane. J Dub, what's the story? Story is here live. Memphis Mang stole and caught and possessed with, found with, in Nagadoshi County, Memphis, 28 and a half gallons of promethazine, lean, scissor, the purple stuff. You mix it in Sprite. You throw a couple of Jolly Ranchers in there, the feel good juice. It uh, equates to 19 cases, 12 bottles per case. It's 228 bottles found in a car, arrested. Uh, the plaintiff did say that he had a script for each and every single one of the bottles, but the police arrested him anyway. And all of Memphis cries out in its loss of lean tonight. Matthew, back to you. Thank you for that, J-Dub. In other news, Gucci Man was heartbroken when he heard the news. <laughs> Very good. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to head back to Liam Lashmise Reese, who's going to talk about an unsatisfied customer. Liam, what's the scoop? A Lawrence County, Indiana woman is facing felony narcotics charges after she called 911 to report her dealer for giving her inferior meth. Sarah Harris called police to complain that her meth was tainted and that she felt like she was going to have a heart attack, which some folks would argue is a pretty good indicator that you just took meth. Also, how can meth be tainted? It's not exactly something you're going to pick up at the organic meth farm. Okay. Obviously, police showed up to see what was happening, and Harris gladly handed over some of her meth, requesting that it be tested and charges be filed against the man that sold her the tainted meth. She also added that earlier, Harris and a friend enjoyed a normal ball of meth and everything was cool. So, like, hey, what the heck, man? You know? To the surprise of absolutely no one, Sarah Harris ended up being arrested and brought to Lawrence County Jail and charged with felony possession. I feel like there's a lesson here, and it's probably that you might want to leave the cops out next time you have a bone to pick with the guy that sold you hard drugs. I'm Liam Reese, WPP News. Thank you for that, Liam. Let me tell you, what is the world coming to dealers these days? They just don't make meth like they used to. You gonna jump in with the f line, Justin? Yeah. I don't remember what what, what was. It? They don't. If have you can't like trust you your do? meth dealer, who can you trust? I like that they they testified that we had good meth earlier. Hey, we had good meth, and now we. Have Thank you for that, Liam. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna head to Mikey Medigan, who's gonna give us the latest on the Lord's favorite restaurant. Mikey Medigan, what's the story? on site, on scene in Ventura, California, where behind me is the Chick-fil-A, where the Ventura City Attorney Andrew Hegland is being accused of whipping out his war hammer, or technically call it indecent exposure. Mr. Drumstick is strongly denying these claims, and due to his position with the Ventura County, the Ventura Police have turned over the investigation to the Ventura Sheriff's Office, which the frig is the difference. For me, it's the same farm, different pig, you know what I mean? Witnesses have given statements at this point, and we're told that the sheriff's office is reviewing the evidence, and we will see if any charges are filed. Still seems like same place, different rat. Regardless, Hegland's attorney claims there was an overreaction. Now I ask you, everyone ever at, uh, that's ever eaten there met one of these people that works at the Chick-fil-A, the employees. I've never met a sad or boastful or just the greatest employees ever. So I'm not sure why he's whipping his thing out there, but um, apparently his pish findel is not above the law. I hear Michael Medigan on site on scene. Back to the studio, WPP News. Thank you for that, Mikey Medigan. In related news, Chick-fil-A has gone from offering the Lord's chicken to selling the law's meat. <laughs> Chicken's so good to make your dick pop out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for that, Mikey Medigan. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to head back to Jalen Dub, Justin Richardson, who's going to talk about a beating that I haven't seen since I missed weight for the Penridge match in 2002. <laughs> Jalen, 
What's the story? In sports news, Thailand played Kuwait. And surprisingly, ice hockey. I didn't even know these two countries had ice, but apparently they do. And skates and sticks. Kuwait, though, maybe not so much. Thailand beat Kuwait 57 to 0. Surprisingly, three different players had seven goals, two hat tricks, an extra goal. Their names are insanely hard to pronounce. So Manny, Mo, and Jack did great for Thailand, and we're very proud of them. I didn't know that they played hockey, and I can't wait to see more from this Thailand dreamscape of an exciting team. They're coming up in the ranks like the Iceland team from Mighty Ducks 3, and I'm rooting for them. Go Thailand. Go ice hockey. Go Go us. Go news. Go you. Back to you. <laughs> USA! 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 Thank you for that, J-Dub. Man, Kuwait hasn't seen a beating like that since Desert Storm. <laughs> Excellent stuff. All right. Well, speaking of beating Kuwait, this has been another episode of the Working Perspectives Podcast presents WPP News. I'm Matt Lavelle, coming by Liam Reese, Mikey Medigan, and Jalen Dub, Justin Richardson. In case you're wondering, you can find all our stuff and all our content on all podcast platforms and YouTube at Work Perspectives Podcast. You can also on Instagram at Work Perspectives Podcast. You can join us on Twitter and TikTok at Working Pod. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, please email us at workperspectives at gmail.com. And please like and subscribe to keep bringing you this sweet, sweet content. Thank you for listening. Have a great one. Thanks. See you. Yo, 76ers.